Don't hesitate, you just call me. Maybe it's late, but just call me. Tell me and I'll be around. Back after this. Good evening, I'm Cliff Taylor, and I'm here to tell you about New Visions, which will be coming up next. It's the only show good enough that I allow to preempt my show. It's really great. Anthony Phillips, remember him? Come on. He was the original guitarist with Genesis, and he plays guitar, and he's going to be hosting this tonight's show. That's right. So don't go away. Stick around for New Visions. After that, I'll be back with you, okay? Music, music, was not was. Woo, check them out. And Sting. Woo, and Black. Also, Erasure. The Circus. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the Sahara in Las Vegas, Mr. Cliff Taylor! <laughs> Woo! Hey, how you doing? Hello, good evening, welcome to the Sahara. It's wonderful to be here. Look, this is the club that gambling built. Isn't it wonderful? That's right. From small beginnings come great things, and that's why we're here today. Now, I've gotten a lot of letters asking me, Cliff, 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 why can't you do a show naked? Well, what do you think I am, a naked man or something? Of course I'll do a show naked. But the problem is, is that, well, look, we've got, we've got people we've got to satisfy. We've got sponsors, we've got presidents, we've got vice presidents. Look, I don't own the network, okay? But look, I'm going to go naked anyway, and I've worked it out with the producers and the directors and the stockholders, and they said, go ahead, Cliff, you want to be naked at the Sahara? You be naked at the Sahara. We'll work it out. I don't know how they're going to do it. You find out, okay? First, I want to sing a song, all right? Let's go for it. One, two, one, two, three. We've got a gorilla for sale. Magilla, gorilla for sale. Ga, 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 ga. Won't you buy him, take him home and try him. Gorilla for sale. Uh, don't you want a little gorilla? You can call your own a gorilla who will leave you when you're all alone. <laughs> How much is that gorilla in the window? We'll take our advice at any price. A gorilla like Magilla is mighty nice. Gorilla, Magilla, gorilla for sale. <sighs> oh, <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Oh, God, this beats network cable anytime, doesn't it? Woo, wow, God. To think I started out on New York public cable. Wow. Hey, listen, I'm going to do it now. Hold on, okay? Go, 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 go
I don't know about this. Wait a minute, I'm still dressed. <laughs> I got a sock on. I'm coming, I'm coming, but I don't know about this. I don't know about this. Oh God, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? I don't know about this. Oh, I've never been on television naked before. Oh God, I hope they work something out. Am I naked? Huh? Am I really naked? Am I naked on television? Is has that time finally arrived in television when you can be naked on TV? That's great! Absolutely great! Look, we'll take your clothes off too then and let's celebrate! Yay! Okay? Take your clothes off and watch the next video and we'll be right back. Thank you! My name is Cliff Taylor. I'm naked now. I'm naked tomorrow. I'm going to be naked all through the evening. So stick around because we've got a Nexus coming. That's right. And the Bee Gees. Also, millions like us. Great guys. Billy Idol and Moni Moni. Well, whose clothes are those? They surely aren't the Wicked Witch of the West who was uh, melted by Dorothy. Those clothes belong to Cliff Taylor, the very first man on network television to burn his clothes and appear naked. I'm Cliff Taylor, and I am naked. I'm naked now. I'm going to be naked through all the videos. I'm going to be naked the whole evening. So if you like naked people, stay in touch, stay in tune. Write me a letter. Let me know if you like naked people, okay? I'm doing the show naked right now, all right? At least I think I'm naked. I don't know. I, you know, I've been told I'm naked. But um, I wanted to say that we've got a special little bit planned for you here right now, and... Um, I, I would have worn a microphone. As you can see, i got to carry this microphone because there was nowhere to pin it. <laughs> you figure it out, okay? Uh, they couldn't put it on my fez, and I don't like being totally naked. That's why I'm wearing the fez, okay? Anyway, I want to make an appeal right now for money. Why money? Because I'm appealing for money for my church. That's right, the Abdul Fez Religious Hour on Radio Fez. That's the place, and this is the time, right here. You know, we're going to be selling an album with lots of wonderful, wonderful religious songs, such as, I saw the Lord on the road to Tangiers, and he was hitching. Arabs Uber Allis. And we'll also be having wonderful, wonderful hits, just rolling, rolling, rolling. Honest to God, we want you to send us your money. We've got phone lines open right now. Operators are standing by to call our toll-free number for the Naked Society. Now, why would I collect money for my church naked? Well, you figure it out, okay? Now, listen, I've got lots of fantastic videos coming up, okay? Don't go away. If you like what you see, if you like this, come on, this is... This is 185 pounds of USDA Choice Prime American right here in front of you. Where are you going to get that in Europe? Stick around, okay? We'll see you right after this. Cliff Taylor here. Remember Aerosmith? They're coming up this hour, so don't go away. 
and we got Kiss, Naked as Usual, and Bon Jovi. They're going to be naked also. George Michael's Naked with Naked Faith. I love reading about the Girl Guides. They're really great. Well, we call them Girl Scouts where I come from, but they're all the same. <laughs> well, they asked me to put my clothes on, but they didn't say where. <laughs> great. So, you can see what I've done. I told them I'd put my clothes on, honest to God. Well, <laughs> I might get fired for this, but honest to God, I'm the only guy who's willing to come out here naked on network television. Ladies and gentlemen, we've set a precedent here. I, Cliff Taylor, am coming to you live on network television naked. And I'm asking you one simple, vital question. Are your clothes off yet? If they aren't, please take them off. I tell you, they tried to put a microphone on me, but you know how it is. So we've got to go through with, uh, with the remote here, okay? Don't worry about it. We're having a great time here. Are you enjoying yourself? Excellent. I'm having a good time. Honest to God, I never thought I'd enjoy doing the show naked, but now that I'm naked, it's just great. Honest to God, it's not that bad, really. Um, try it sometime. Well, as you know, this is the time when we decide to talk about gunk, 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 our news items. That's right. So we're going to be going over to a few funny little things here right now. I want to show you something on one of my favorite books here. Hollywood Babylon 2. And who's that wonderful woman there? That's Liz Taylor. But it doesn't look like Liz, does it? You know what the boys in Palm Springs described it as? Trying to stuff 10 pounds of shit in a 5-pound bag. You be the judge. But we're going to be strolling through Hollywood now, looking through some of the wonderful yesteryear kinds of pictures that made Hollywood great. Such as, here's one of my favorites, Daddy Dearest. Wallace Beery and adopted daughter. Do you think they're getting intimate? You be the judge. Well, I've got something to show you here that I think you're really going to love, okay? This book is called Hollywood Babylon 2, and I've been babbling about it all week. Why have I been doing that? Because it's about Hollywood. It's got all the greatest dope about the suicides, the deaths, the murders, the sex, the drugs, the rock and roll. You name it. It's here. It's in this book, and it's ready for you. You want to know about Hollywood? This is it. Cliff Taylor, your diplomatic editor from Hollywood, is here to let you know where to go for all the greatest news about Hollywood. This is it. There are no substitutes. Don't be duped. Don't be fooled. Go pick up this baby. It's really, really good. Well, I tell you, you know what they call it, the Saturday Review? The sickest escaped into degeneracy since mommy dearest. Honest to God, this baby cooks. Let's pick out a little story here, if I could. What would you like, to, uh, what would you like me to read about? Well, there's just so much here. I mean, it's just really hard to, uh, it's, it's hard. Where did we leave off yesterday? We left off here at Hollywood Drugstore. Isn't that great? As you can see, there's Lon Chaney. What's he got in his mouth, huh? Yeah. And there's Mickey Mouse. What's he finding? You can see it. Can we pan in on that? Great. All your favorites are here, honest to God. Let me read an excerpt if I could. Oh, Coke, where is thy sting? Picture a big plate of pure cocaine. I'm talking about big bucks here, piled high in a frigging glittering white pyramid. And then picture the sweaty, coarse, pig-faced comedian, low comedy, very low, going down in that pile till he came up sputtering for air, a white-faced parody. That's right, then the gopher girls aplenty, playboy centerfolds all, called over by the said power-tripping comedian. After all, he paid for it. Or he was paid off with it, to lick it all off his big fat moon face. Gross out by John Belushi, cocaine clown on the road to Chateau Marmont. Has somebody shot this guy yet? You be the judge. It happened in the bar Chicago Mayor Byrne granted immunity and 24-hour stay-open permit during the long, long location shooting for the Blues Brothers. You've heard of the Fez Brothers? Well, that's the Blues Brothers. Great. Now, I ask you, did you find all those car smash-ups and general lunacy and mayhem all that funny? 
I did. And they, the folks that gave you that smash em up movie thought it was all very funny. A riot at the time. Too bad they couldn't get all their audiences high. Speaking of dust storms, remember 1941? <laughs> this guy's so clever. He's one of the most frustrated people in Hollywood. Kenneth Anger only got one film when he was five years old, and so the rest of his life's going to be devoted to slagging people off. You figure it out. Great. Well, look. I know you'd love to have me stay here with you for another 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes, but honest to God, we do have to play some music sometime, so I'm going to break away with a few more videos, and we're going to be right back, so don't go away, okay? Somebody broke my little lamb. Hey, I'm naked now. I'm going to be naked later, and I'm naked through the whole show. We've got Jonathan Butler. He's naked and living in a box. They're original and naked. Also, Jody Watley. Wouldn't you like to see her naked? And Pet Shop Boys, Rent. Naked blues, baby. Naked from my head to my toe. Naked all the way. Naked to the world. Oh, are we on? Oh, hi. How you doing? Hey, well, <laughs> welcome to the Sahara Club in Las Vegas. We'd like to entertain you now with some of our favorite elevator songs. Try this one. Do da do da do do da do do. Do da do da do do da do do. Yeah. Do da do da do do da do do. Well, I hate elevator music, don't you? But call me. Don't be afraid to just call me. Maybe it's late, but just call me. Tell me and I'll be around. Da do da 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 da. Go do do da if you're ever lonely and want me. You can always get on that phone and call me. Da da do da 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 do da 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 Call me, don't be afraid to just call me. Ha ha, maybe it's late, but just call me. Tell me and I'll. Be around. Thank you. We'll see you tomorrow night.
Good evening. My name is Cliff Taylor, and I'm here to entertain you for free. Guess what? Pet Shop Boys are up. And that's right. You guessed it. I can't read it. Alexander O'Neill. I'm just kidding. And George Michael. Don't forget the Bee Gees. You win again. Good evening. Welcome to MTV, the number one international music channel in the entire world. Planet Earth, that's the place and that's the place for us. Guess what? This is my last night here at MTV and I want to tell you it's been the greatest three weeks of my life. I've had a wonderful time here with you. My job is to dig deep, deep down in the inner bowels of my soul and dig out the best entertainment I can for you. What have I brought in tonight? You'll see. So don't go away. I've got Baby the Magic Cat. I've got my Christmas toys that I'm going to be previewing. And also, I wouldn't leave you without bringing you a little bit of Hollywood. That's right, Cliff Taylor has brought you one of his movies from L.A. Roll it, honey. There it is. What's that guy doing? Check it out. We'll watch it together. My God, he's having to dig a bottle out of a garbage can. Oh, wait a minute. This isn't the Hollywood we thought we all knew and loved. There he is on the street, sleeping on the street, having a smoke. It looks pretty rough and tough to me. But wait a minute, things do change in Hollywood. Isn't that the beach? I think it is. And it's a balcony. Who's that? There's a girl? My God, this is looking pretty interesting. Hmm. This looks a little bit more like the Hollywood we have been able to associate with the good times. The Hollywood of champagne dreams and caviar schemes. That's the place we know and love. That's tinsel town on a tinsel stick. Yes, things are looking up, aren't they? Well, when you've got a girl and you've got a bungalow and you've got a movie contract, you know you're home free. You can kick back, light a cigarette, enjoy the good times, and not worry about tomorrow. Because let's face it, here today, gone tomorrow. So let's have a dance and celebrate this wonderful, glorious moment in Tinseltown while we squander our money away and dream about the good times to come. Now, what do I have to do to get this girl on the casting couch, I wonder? Money? Well, that doesn't look like that's going to work. She threw that all over the ground. Hmm, how about a slap in the face? Well, that surely isn't going to get me on the casting couch. Maybe if I try for the romantic approach and a little kiss. Nope, that doesn't seem to work very well either. Well, how about a little dance? That could possibly seal my fate, I'm sure. I've heard that if you dance with a girl, sometimes you dance with a girl forever. I wonder if she liked my footwork. Well, by the looks of that 30-odd six, I would say that she was not very satisfied with my footwork. In fact, there I am, looking fairly dead. I wonder why. It sure is hard to please people in Hollywood. Oh well, what the heck. Another one bites the dust, as they say. Play your flang dango, take your guitar, and move on down the road. That's the story. But don't pan out quite too fast, because this story hasn't ended yet. That's right. Come on back down here, because look where he ends up. Yes, back down with the real people, back down in Los Angeles, there's the sign, running for his life to get away from that madness. Why is he running? I don't know. Maybe you should be the judge. Honest to God, if you go to L.A., there's the buildings, there's the people, there's the town. Make sure you see both sides of the city, make sure you see the top, and make sure you see the bottom.
Good evening. It's Cliff Taylor here. Don't go away. We've got fun and games on my last night here. With Westworld, Silver Mac, Jimmy Mac, oh God, who knows, and Fleetwood Mac. They're all Mac. Mac, 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 Mac. Jody Watley, what a fox. And Pink Floyd learning to fly. Who's that? That's Baby back. Hello, my name is Baby, and I've come to help Cliff Taylor with his show here on MTV. God knows he needs all the help he can get, but here I go again, turning my back on the camera. <laughs> oh, good baby, yes. Well, who's that man over there with the camera, huh? Who's that man over there? Yes, has he brought you some rat meat? That's right, rat meat, your favorite little thing to slice and dice and tear and pare, that's right. That's what he must have done. Wow, great. Well, good evening, we're back. How did you like that little L.A. home movie, huh? Well, if you ever go to Hollywood, make sure you see the top of it and the bottom of it. Believe me, I made that movie four years ago, long before you two ever set up their guitars and amps down in the Mexican side of town and decided to be cool making their video there. But you be the judge. But I've got a little news item here I'm dying to show you because if you probably remember, we've been doing lots of wonderful stories about my favorite paper here in England called The Sun. That's right. Why is The Sun my favorite paper in England? Because The Sun, I feel, is the best barometer of real live news here in Great Britain. Now, you be the judge, okay? But I've got a story here to show you. You know, generally I like the Royals and I try not to really do very many stories on them, but I'm not doing this story, they are. And here we've got something I thought was very interesting because you remember Abdul Fez's Uzi? Well, Spitting Image has got one right there. They're stealing all my ideas. I've seen my LA Rams hat in their show. They've done stuff about Michael Fish and the weather. Honest to God, I should get a job there after I finish here. All right, well, what the heck. But you know something, they're...